Goodbye, sweet girl. I love you. Now I uh, don't have a hand for that because... <laughs> Shoot. Oh my gosh, I'm just in awe right now. I am in complete and utter shock. Wow, today is just going to be a great day. You know, I woke up this morning, I found out Sarah's day was pregnant, had to run some errands, and actually my camera died, so I got like barely any clips, but it's fine. I had to return some things, so I had to go to the post office, had to go to good old Whole Foods here. I got my obsession this freaking vegan cheese <laughs> so obsessed with it and i'm out right now so i bought two of course i also had to buy myself some coconut aminos so one of these is just going straight in the fridge the other one is going in here do you need to go outside or you want to go outside okay I swear, the universe just like works in hilarious ways. And I think that this was just a way for the universe to be like, you need a laugh, you need to lighten up because I've been feeling really anxious recently because I'm going home and we'll talk about that here in a second. But yesterday I was like on the verge of a panic attack. Like I just like felt it coming on and I was like, we gotta, we gotta not, we gotta not, we gotta not. So anyways, the universe, I swear, like me wearing this sweatshirt, like the situation that happened, it's just like everything, like everything. The universe was like, that's how I feel right now. But while I was in the post office, someone walked in and I recognized them immediately and I don't think they have any idea who I am. They could, I have no idea. But it was just like, oh my gosh situation. Like the world is so small. I never ever thought that I would see this person. Like it was just like so weird. It was so freaking weird. And I was just like hiding. Like I had my mask on and I was just like hiding. I was like, don't recognize me. Don't see me. Granted, I don't think the person did, but it was kind of just a good reminder that you never know who's watching. You never know who's going to see you. And especially me, like I've gotten DMs before of people saying that like they saw me at certain places, but they were afraid to say hi. So like I'm always, I'm not like on edge, but I'm always aware that like someone could be watching me. And it was one of those situations where it was like, oh my gosh, I'm on the other side where like, I wasn't really watching this person, but I was just like, oh, like that, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, just hilarious. Like the universe, thank you so much. Like I needed a good laugh because that was, that was quite comical. So this morning, you know, it's added up to me good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay, I need to honestly eat some breakfast really quick because it is 11 o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat today. So I'm going to eat some breakfast, get some work done. And then I do want to chat with you guys about going home. Every time I think about it, I'm just like... I just logged in to my investment accounts for the first time, which is very exciting. I'm about to transfer over some money and get those things funded or at least start the funding. And then, yeah, anyways. Oh my gosh. Wow, we're here. We're doing it. This is crazy. Little girl, why are you crying? Do you need to go outside? You just want to go outside. You don't need to go outside. <laughs> it's a big difference there. I haven't opened my windows in so long. Oh, that they're a little stuck. Oh my gosh, come on, there it is. It is currently 71 degrees outside. It's gorgeous, I turned the air off, we got some windows open. Oh, I love fresh air, this is my favorite freaking season. I save so much money on just like my heating and cooling bill, you know, because I don't have either on. It's great, like this is my favorite time of year. Plus the fresh air just makes me so happy. So, whew, let's pack for York. And you know what we're gonna do first? We're gonna pack freaking pajamas because 
I'm not gonna have the same situation again where I don't have any pajamas. So let's figure out, what do I wanna bring? How many days am I gone? Okay, <sighs> oh, my packing situation is gonna be a little bit weird. Do I wanna pack two silver bags? I probably should. So how many do I even have? I mean, I know I've got enough here. Let's pack you, you, you. How many is that? That's five? Perfect. Okay, and then I gotta go back upstairs and get my luggage. I honestly don't even know why I put this away because I knew that I was leaving again, but here we are. I'm gonna apologize for the lighting in advance because it's just so cloudy out today and it just keeps going up, down, up, down. It's all over the place. But we got our luggage. We have our pajamas. Let's just say those are gonna be hotel pajamas. These will be, is that right? Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Okay, yes, no, that's right. Okay, everything else. Actually, before we get to everything else, let's talk a little bit about York. I should probably set up my camera somewhere so I'm not holding it and like possibly shaking whatever. Let me see, hold please. Okay. I'm reminding myself in my mind right now, I'm like worrying is putting yourself through it twice. Like why are you putting yourself through it twice? So York PA, I haven't been home in almost three years at this point. The last time I was home was for my pap, my grandfather's funeral. And then before that was for my cousin's funeral. And York just became a place to me that doesn't hold good memories anymore. So yeah, here's the deal. We're going back to York because, God, Catherine, we're going together. My friend from high school is getting married and my best friend from high school is actually in the wedding. And I'm so excited to see both of them, but like to see my best friend, we have not seen each other since college. Like it has been honestly probably six plus years since we've seen each other and we FaceTime every couple of months and we stay in contact, but it's just been so long since I've seen her and I just like wanna give her a freaking bear hug. Like I'm so excited. So I am excited to go back to York for that reason. Like I'm excited to see both of them. I get to see my grandma while I'm in town as well. But one of the questions I got asked a lot when I went through my divorce last year is why don't you move home? And even to this day, like I get asked this at, at the beginning, it was every single week in the Wednesday Q and A. And now it's maybe like every few months or every month I get asked, why did I decide to stay in Alabama? Why didn't I move home? And the reality is, it's just like York isn't home to me anymore, you know? I think a lot of people thought it would be nice for me to have family and friends in that support group, but my support group is not in York. Like my parents don't live there, my siblings don't live there, my friends don't live there anymore. My grandma's still there, I've got some aunts and uncles in the area, but otherwise like York is just not home to me anymore. And it never even crossed my mind to move home because it's not home. Ever since I really graduated high school, I never really wanted to go back. And I never honestly did go back. Like for the summers, I got internships or the first summer I was a nanny in Maryland. And then for every other summer after that, I interned up in Rochester. And I just, I never wanted to go back to York. I never did. And it wasn't until my separation last year that I really figured out why I didn't want to go back. And once I was driving cross country, like I was driving to LA and I was thinking a lot about this. I was processing so much. I was like, wow, I need to go back to York because there's so much that I never processed there and I need to do it. So I actually was talking to Becca, my best friend that I was just talking about. And I was like, let's go back to York. Like I, I need to do this. I need to do this trip for me. And we were going to, and then it ended up like falling through, which was absolutely no big deal because I think it was kind of like an impulse decision for me to do that. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it right away because I needed to process some things not there. And now that I've processed some things, I'm going back and I'm gonna process even more. And I just, I know this trip is not going to be easy for me. So the wedding is actually on Sunday and I could have easily just traveled up Saturday done the wedding Sunday and come home. But what I decided to do instead is I am leaving tomorrow. I'm driving part way and then I'll actually be in York Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I come home on Monday because I wanted time for one. I think it would be a lot of fun for me to show you guys around my hometown. I wanna show you like where I lived in my high school and all that. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I personally wanna go to all of those places. As I said, I need to like process some things. So I think it would be good for me to revisit all of those places, but, um, yeah, I'm spending some extra time there so that I can work through some things.
Like legitimately, I just want to sit on the baseball field of my high school and process some shit. Yeah, that's York. I'm very excited to go back to see my friends. I'm excited for this wedding, but I'm not excited for all of the personal work that I have to do. And by the time that you guys are watching this video, I will be leaving York, so I will have already done it, and you guys will probably see that in the next video, huh? Yeah, you're coming. You have not been to New York in years, too. Yeah, are you excited? You have never seen my high school, though. I'm gonna show you my high school. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun, right? Come up here. Another thing, like why I'm driving and bringing fancy, because it is such a long drive. So the main reason, well, there's like two reasons. So one, flying to York, I would have to fly in the like BWI. So I would be flying into Baltimore and then I got to drive up. So I got to rent a car, I have to pay for a flight and then I like a hotel, all of that stuff. It's a lot of money. And then also I would have to find, I mean, I have a dog sitter come here for fancy. So then I would have to do that and it would just like cost me a lot. So it was a little bit easier for me to just say, you know what, let's just drive. I'm going to take my own car. Fancy and I are going to go up together. I rented an Airbnb that she can stay in with me, obviously. And I prefer driving. Like I, I really do prefer driving. And it just like made more sense. Like flying to BWI, I'm sure there would have been a layover. I probably would have had to go to Charlotte and then up to BWI. And it was just like not even worth a hassle. I kind of don't know what to wear and what to bring because it's a high of like 72 every day and a low of 50 something. So it's like I'm almost feeling like I should bring like sweaters. That sweater is actually really cute. I could bring that one. I also don't know because like Friday and Saturday I've got zero plans. Like I know I'm going to see my grandma, but otherwise it's just going to be like me exploring town. So it's like, do I just want to wear like biker shorts and a crew neck? You know, that seems pretty classic. Also, this is the dress that I am wearing for this wedding. You guys saw me try it on in the Amazon dress haul. It looks so cute on it. I'm so excited. So I'm wearing that with these shoes right here. It's going to look so simple and classy and I'm very excited. I think for during the day, do I want to go those or these? It also depends on the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is during the day, I'm going to have long sleeves or a sweater or something, and then I'm going to wear shorts, and then at night, I can just bring jeans to go along with it. So let's see long sleeve wise, what am I feeling? Do I want to go like sweater vibes? Or do I just want to go totally comfy? Catherine, get your life together. I can't, I can't get it together. Okay, final decision, I'm bringing these shorts and then we'll find something to match these shorts. Done. starting to regret bringing this size suitcase. Hi, you little cute thing. Because I'm really packing for fall here, so like I'm packing thicker long sleeve items, you know, and jeans, and I'm also bringing shorts because it's gonna be like 70 in the day and then 50 at night, so it's like you gotta have both options. And like this suitcase is completely filled and I don't even have like any of my toiletries or anything else in it. So, I mean, I can put some stuff like right in here. I've got a little nook. I can definitely fill that with some things. But I don't have a lot, huh? I am getting ready to have a FaceTime call with my family. So my grandma is actually in Arizona right now visiting my mom. She's been there for, I think, two weeks at this point, like having a little getaway, a little vacation, visiting my mom, which is very nice. So my mom wanted all of us kids to hop on the phone with her, even though I'm gonna be able to see her in person this weekend. Still hopping on the phone. So we're doing a FaceTime call in one minute now, but I have just been running around my house going a little bit crazy. I was just jumping all over the place with, oh, I can't forget this. I can't forget this. I can't forget this. I got to get fancy stuff, work stuff. I needed to remember my like nicer looking clutch so that I have like something to put my things in for the wedding and all of that. So I just feel like I've been running around, but I'm pretty organized. I feel good enough to go. We'll see. I'm not leaving first thing tomorrow morning. So if anything pops in my mind, I still got some time and it'll be okay. But I'm supposed to initiate this call in one minute. I'm just waiting for like the time to tick down. I'm gonna FaceTime on my beautiful iPad right here. I 
I'm gonna call everyone at exactly six o'clock. There we go. Hello! It is 7.30, ended up having the family FaceTime, but it's so many people talking. So it was me, my sister, my brother, and my other sister, Jessica, and then my mom and grandma. And it's just like so many people, so much going on, those freaking bubbles just like floating around, you know, that I feel like it was like really overwhelming for grandma and she didn't know what was going on. Uh, but at one time they brought up my trip and I asked her, I was like, what trip are you talking about? Like the trip that I just took to the lake or like my trip coming up going to York. And grandma acted like she didn't know that I was coming to York, which I guess I did tell her a couple of months ago and I was waiting until it was like a lot closer. Like I was gonna call her on Friday, but I was like, I'll just FaceTime you afterwards and then we can set something up. So FaceTimed my mom and her afterwards, talked for probably an extra, that was like probably almost like an extra hour, honestly. How long was that? Um, okay, yeah, an extra 40 minutes. But my grandma and I, we are going to lunch on Saturday, which will be really nice. My mom said that like all of my uncles and stuff were meeting her for breakfast in the morning. And I kind of wanted to go to that because then I could see all my uncles as well. But my mom wanted to like space out the things so then grandma was filled for the day, which I totally understand. I also gave my grandma a tour of my house. I walked her through it, which was fun. And with that, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I am kind of sick of talking, honestly, at this point. So, do you wanna say goodbye? You wanna wrap up this vlog? Oh, wow, that was like my eyeball. Thank you, do not like my ear, please. <laughs> I love you. Okay, say bye.